In our coverage of the penalty phase for the convicted Parkland shooter, we've watched as survivors have struggled through testimony recounting the horrific events of that day. Most have been accompanied by family as they approach the stand and then are met and embraced by those same family members as they leave. Well, now we want to show you a unique way that they're getting help coping with that trauma. Therapy dogs. Court TV legal correspondent Julia Denae spoke with the founder of the company that provides the dogs about how our furry friends help in the healing. This is Romeo Valentino. He just turned two years old. This is Sophie. Sophie is my best friend and has been for 10 years. Sophie and I have been working in courthouses for nine of those 10 years. This is little Chucho. He is a two-year-old French Bulldog. And we've been doing this for about a year. And we love children and all walks of people. And we just love to cheer people up. Uh, my name is Alan Levine, and I am the founder and the principal of Certified Therapy Dog. We visit assisted living facilities, children's shelters, um, courthouses, so we do a lot of therapy work. Tell me about why here for this case, and were you planning on it for a long time? We have been planning on it. The Eagles Haven people who've sponsored uh, the hospitality suites and the crisis rooms, uh, I teach a class there every Thursday night to people affected directly by the tragedy, whether it be parents of children who were injured or worse in the room, teachers, guidance counselors who were affected by the tragedy, people who were witnesses in the room. So I've been teaching their classes for about a year now. We started a program with them. And when the trial came due, it was just kind of natural. We volunteered our services to be with the witnesses and um, the families to bring, do what we do, bring comfort and joy and a little bit of a distraction and hopefully cut through you know, a lot of the heavy stuff that's going on around here. It's been overwhelming. I, I, I think we've attained a new level in terms of impact with what we have on the witnesses, um, especially after some of the testimony. The people are so um, emotionally involved, almost inconsolably so. And um, we try and break through them, and we take their hand, and we put them along the dog, and it really breaks through and, you know, allows them to find their own humanity again and then just get, get rationalized through, through all of the emotional trauma that they're going through. Not only are we out there waiting in the witness rooms, but the witnesses and anybody who's about to testify is invited to request the dog to be with them on the witness stand. Um, and we would, of course, accompany them as their controller so um, they can comfort it. And then we actually brought a couple of dolls that were modeled after Sophie and Romeo um, that if they like, they can also, you know, a very tactile kind of soothing distraction kind of displacement activity. Some of the classes that I do teach at the Jaffco and Eagles Haven headquarters, as I said before, are the parents whose children were either in the rooms and traumatized or, or worse. And when we first meet them, there's an absence, an emptiness in their eyes. And then we get to know one another. And then what we do is after they're trained and go through the program, we bring them to the Jaffco rescue shelters, where we bring them to interact with other less fortunate children who had to be removed from the home. And at that point, when you see the interactions happen, you can really see the lights coming back on in, you know, in their faces. Um, it's never gonna replace their own, but it, it, it really brings them, like I said, it just, it just puts a sparkle back in. It, it, it brings life back into their lives. Some of the comments that we've just heard being here today are that it made such a difference. Us being here, you can see people just need it. One girl was petting him and said, I needed this so much today. So it really is making an impact. We're helping, even if we help one person, that's what we're here for. Everybody just lights up and wants to see him and immediately wants to go and pet the dog and interact with the dog. And it seems to alleviate any kind of like down feelings they're having. And I just, I love it. It's perfect. The whole notion of therapy dogs is a fairly new phenomenon in society. It, it used to be about five years ago. If I would talk to somebody and want to come in with a therapy dog to do some visits, it's what's a therapy dog? Mm -hmm. now, now, if I were to make that phone call, it's how soon can you get here and how often can you be here? What a wonderful, wonderful idea. Thanks to Julia Janae for that report.